I'm Chris Beeland, and I'm 39 years old, and I play music for a living, and also work at a coffee shop. And uh, I have six albums out, I'm working on a new album with my daughter, Harmony. I've been playing music my whole life. I'm married with four kids and three grandchildren. Music has always been like my passion, and once I met my dad when I was 32, it kind of made sense, you know. I had grew up thinking my dad was somebody else, and, and then um, my mom told me about a night she went to a Ricky Nelson concert, and my dad was the guitar player, and um, they had a one night stand, and, and uh, my mom sent him an email. He was gonna delete the email, but when he clicked on the link that my mom put, I was playing music in church, and uh, I looked just like my grandpa, and it like freaked him out. Yeah, so then we, we did a DNA test, and he flew up to see me, and I was living in Oregon. And we, uh, we played in front of like 300 people for the first time ever, and uh, sang a Simon and Garfunkel song together, sing The Boxer. And then after that, I changed my musical last name to his. So Chris Beeland's like what I go by in the, in the professional world, but legally I'm, I'm still Chabot, which is it's a little different. I'm Harmony Beeland, and I'm 14 years old, and I've been singing since I was about four, and, um, <laughs> I have my dad who plays with me, and my mom who really encourages me to write songs, and my little brother who likes to bug me, but he's very encouraging too. The first song I wrote is my dad's old song, like a couple of words from it. And he was like, oh, I'm not going to use it. So it was one of his trash songs. And I made that song better. The song is Oya Sparrow, and it goes. Oh, She got older. She started writing lyrics, and and so we would, she would come and get together, and, and uh, she would write the words, and then I would write a little line, and then she would write another line. So I have these journals of like half, like her writing and my writing. Yeah. Which hers actually at her age is was still better than my writing. No, it wasn't. <laughs> we probably have like 20, 30 songs. That just never get used. Yeah. They're just like in his album stack full. And we're like, is this song in here? No, next one. There's like piles and piles. Yeah. <laughs> like songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Music is, has always been my my filter. You know, when life stuff's happening, I just you, I process it through writing songs and I think it's affected my, my music and helped me tap into a deeper a deeper level of writing and writing songs that matter. But a lot of my songs have an intention to it. How life can change in a moment's glance My world could fall down Like hourglass and How I need to hold the ones that I love close to me Not 
be afraid of how I feel, how much I want them to see that I'm grateful to share in this life.